might be going out a little bit late. Look the onside foot back there.
walked up, walked up. Do you feel any pressure yourself on your shoulders in the second half to be able to lead this team like you did? No, sir. I definitely felt more. I felt more pressure probably though, like at the beginning of the game. We went to halftime. We had some momentum, and everybody was really excited. So I had a lot of confidence. What does it mean for the town of Stillwater this long to be able to kindly finally take a gold ball home? Oh, it's great. This is what we wanted for this community for a long time. You got some bragging rights with the family. You know, you got a brother that played here and quite didn't get there. What kind of conversation is that going to be? Really, he's super proud of me. Ever since I saw them lose that game, one of my biggest goals was to win for them. Because they kind of got Stillwater football this expectation. Congratulations. Thank you. Coach, uh, tell us what you talked to your team at half seven seven. What was your message to them? Yeah, uh, just that you know we're gonna we're gonna do what we do. Um, we talked about you know the the phrase, the catchphrase with body blows. You know that um, it's a big game. There are a lot of big plays, a lot of big moments. But what we have done to people for a couple of years now is we just wear them down. You know, physically we wear them down. I think mentally we wear them down. Um, Choctaw is a great football team. I take nothing away from them. But we told them at half that if you'll just stay the course and just keep playing the way that you'll play, those four-yard runs will be eight-yard runs. And eight-yard runs will be 16-yard runs. 16-yard runs will be touchdowns. And uh, uh, the same thing happened defensively. We talk a lot. We say pressure makes life tough. So just keep applying pressure. Keep applying pressure and you wait. Mistakes are going to happen. And uh, uh, quarterback has four interceptions on a year and three to nine. He's a great, great football player. Uh, but the, the things over over time, over four quarters, it starts to wear on you. Defense wins championships. Defense wins championships every time. And talk about what it means to the city of Stillwater to finally bring this home. 55 years, you know. Uh, I had, uh, it's, been, it's been about five years ago now, and the state championship quarterback from 1967 brought me his helmet that he wore in the state championship game in 1967. I had that sitting in my office um, ever since. Um, we, uh, we talked about that this week. We talked about you know what this means to our community. Um, but we talked about that we don't, you know, that's not our focus. We just be, we, we take a look at that vision and we put our head down and we go to work. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you.